today i'm going to explain simulation experiments using simulink software coming to the introduction of simulink simulink is simulation and link is developed by mathworks as an add on with matlab it is a graphical programming language which offers modeling simulation and analyzing of multi domain dynamic systems under graphical user interface environment the simulink have tight integration with the matlab environment and have a comprehensive block libraries and toolboxes for linear and non linear analysis the system models can be so easily constructed via just click and drag operations the simulink comes handy while dealing with control theory and model based design to open the simulink editor click on a create model on the matlab home tab then simulink will be opened so you'll get a uh, new model like this and this is the simulink space model to open the library browser just click on the library browser we'll get the library browser on this home link we have a simulink library home browser at the command prompt enter s library browser then let us move on to the experiment on bpsk transmitter and receiver the main objective of this experiment is to generate and demodulate bpsk signal using simulink the software required is simulink software coming to the theory of bpsk it is the simplest form of psk that is phase shift keying it uses two phases which are separated by 180 degree and so can also be termed two psk it handles the highest noise level or distortion before the demodulator reaches an incorrect decision that makes it the most robust of all psks it is however only able to modulate at 1 bit per symbol and so is to unsuitable for high data rate applications in the presence of an arbitrary phase shift introduced by a communication channel the demodulator is unable to tell which constellation is at front which as a result the data is often differentially encoded prior to modulation now let us see the demo of the modulation and demodulation of bpsk now to construct the circuit diagram of bpsk transmitter and receiver we need random integer generator random integer generator can be obtained from the library browser here we have a library browser in the library browser this is the search window in the search window whatever the components we need just type the component name we'll get the components here and just take the component here so that that component will be present in the simulink window now random integer generator is done next again in the same library we need bpsk modulator which is a base band so take bpsk modulator which is a base band i have added to the main window now i need awgn take awgn to the main window and constellation diagram and i diagram i diagram before awgn and constellation diagram also before awgn now we have got all the components over here let us separate all the components okay now this is the random integer generator this is the bpsk and this is the awgn next we have the constellation diagram and this is the i diagram next after awgn we have i diagram and once again constellation diagram let us all connect this 
now random integer generator is connected to BPSK and from BPSK to AWGN and from AWGN to I diagram. Now before AWGN let us see the waveform of BPSK and constellation diagram and this is after AWGN. Next we have time scale. So, let us consider the time scale to infinity. So, I have taken infinity time scale and here for the source random integer generator set the source size that is the range is from 0 to m minus 1 as we are dealing with BPSK set the source size to 1 or 2. I will set this to 1 or let us consider 2. Okay. Now to check the BPSK here we have U constellation. So here we can see the BPSK constellation view and next in the AWGN let us keep signal to noise ratio that is EB by N0 change the EB by N0 to 3, 10 and 30 so that we can obtain this a scatter plot and the I diagram for different EB by N0 that is transmitting to the channel here it is set for 10 and number of bits per symbol will be 2 done let the number of bits per symbol be 1 now I will run the BPSK modulator and demodulator so we will get 4 windows seeing the main window this is after the go noise so this is before the noise this is AWGN before the AWGN and this is the I diagram which is the output so we are getting exact angular ray which is transmitting through the channel and this one it is after the channel so we have a we can find out the noise so this is set for 10 so we are getting more noise as we set for more than 10 noise we can observe decreases and this is the constellation diagram we can see the scattering of this BPSK constellation in the constellation diagram here we can observe see the constellation diagram and this constellation diagram this is before BPSK so we have only two points that we can observe here see this point and this point only two points as this is BPSK finally phase shift view we get only two points here so let us close this now now let me change EB by N0 now I will change EB by N0 to 30 run the simulation so if I change the EB by N0 this is after AWGN so we can observe the noise is reduced here and here this is before AWGN and these are the constellation after AWGN and this is the constellation before AWGN. Here we can observe if there is a scattering. This is how we have to observe BPSK experiment. After the completion of this experiment, you may be able to plot the modulation of BPSK and scatter plot and I diagram for different signal to noise ratios. Hope you have learned BPSK modulation and demodulation. Thank you.